गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मयंक तिवारी टुडे वी विल सॉल्व टेस्ट नंबर 34 ऑफ द जनरल एग्रीकल्चर सीरीज लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग प्लीज पुट द नंबर्स 1 टू 10 इन योर पेपर शीट एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द पेपर प्लीज इवैल्यूएट योर करेक्ट रिस्पोंसेस सो स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 एटमॉस्फेयर एक्सटेंड अप टू द हाइट ऑफ स्टूडेंट दिस पोर्शन इज फ्रॉम मेटेरियोलॉजी सो यू हैव टू टेल एट व्हाट हाइट एटमॉस्फेयर एक्सटेंड्स ऑप्शन ए 1600 किलोमीटर ऑप्शन बी 40 किलोमीटर सो स्टूडेंट्स वट वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर एक्चुअली स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज रिमेंबर वन फैक्ट 99 परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल मास ऑफ एटमोसफेयर इज कन्फाइंड टू 40 किलोमीटर ओनली बट दिस एटमोसफेयर एक्सटेंड्स टू 1600 किलोमीटर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज 1600 किलोमीटर ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू स्टूडेंट्स आर्गन इज प्रेजेंट इन द एटमोसफेयर by weight student there is a chart for composition of gases which you have to remember here student we all know that nitrogen contains 78% uh, of earth atmosphere but uh, this is by volume by weight it is only 75% so by volume earth atmosphere contains 78% nitrogen and by weight 75% like uh, this oxygen is 20% by volume argon is 0.93% by volume and uh, carbon dioxide is 0.03% by volume and other gases are in traces and water vapor is 0 to 4% please remember water vapor water vapor is asked and please remember argon argon is very commonly asked argon by volume but in this question i asked you argon by weight so argon by weight is 1.2% also remember nitrogen by weight 75.5% oxygen by weight is 23% and this uh, carbon dioxide is 0.045 and this uh, other gases and uh, only this much is enough student question number 3 you see troposphere contain dash percent of atmospheric mass option a 85% option b 0 to 4% so student what will be the answer troposphere uh, option number b you see 0 to 4% 0 to 4% is the mass of water vapor in atmosphere and troposphere contain 85% of the atmospheric mass please students remember it student question number 4 you see diffuse radiation is measured by option a liquor pyranometer option b shading pyranometer so students please remember diffuse radiation i told you yesterday it contains 65% of the total radiation it is diffuse radiation 0.65 and photosynthetically active radiation is 0.42 or 42% so diffuse radiation is measured by shading ring pyranometer please students remember it student question number 5 you see photochemical sunshine recorder is used in you have to tell the country in which photochemical sunshine recorder is used option a usa option b india so student please remember in india we use campbell stock sunshine recorder and in usa we use photochemical sunshine recorder please student remember it i am repeating in india we use campbell stock sunshine recorder and in usa we use photochemical sunshine recorder student question number c you see uh, a part of rainfall intercepted by tree flows along the stem is known as student this is somewhat different uh, you might have read this in agroforestry we were told about this fact in agroforestry but in reddy and reddy uh, climate chapter it is given a part of rainfall intercepted by tree flows along the stem means you have to tell what is this part of rainfall called which is intercepted by tree flow uh, student option number b u c e it is e n s o so e n s o please remember the full form al nino southern oscillation and uh, when is whenever it is dot we uh, call it el nino and this correct answer is stem coefficient stem coefficient is a part of rainfall it is intercepted by tree flows along the stem so student question number 7 you see cloud resembling sand on seashore student this cloud classification is very important please remember one fact also study of cloud is called nephology and line joining equal cloud cover are called isoneph and cloud cover is measured in the unit called octa please student remember it these three facts are very important so student here is your cl cloud classification first remember that cloud atlas 1956 international cloud atlas uh, of world meteorological department classified cloud into 10 categories 10 types of clouds are there first is cirrus cirrus is the highest cloud then this cirro cumulus cirro cumulus is sand on seashore its appearance is like sand on seashore cirro cumulus so student please remember it it is very commonly asked and cirro stratus cirro stratus is responsible for halos students it is very important and uh, alto stratus alto stratus gives good amount of rainfall in mid and high latitude and this alto cumulus alto cumulus is frequently elliptical or lenticular 
विदाउट वर्टिकल डोमेन स्टेटस इज योर यूनिफॉर्म ग्रे एंड स्टूडेंट निम्बो स्टेटस प्लीज रिमेम्बर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट निम्बो स्टेटस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्टीडी प्रिसिपिटेशन वेदर रेन और स्नो स्टूडेंट क्यूमुलस इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज डोम और कॉलीफ्लावर शेप क्यूमुलस इज डोम और कॉलीफ्लावर शेप क्यूमुलो निम्बस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर थंडर स्टॉम प्लीज स्टूडेंट रिमेम्बर डेम एंड दिस क्लाउड क्लासिफिकेशन वॉज गिवन बाई वन पर्सन कॉल ड्यू ल्यू खॉवर्ड प्लीज स्टूडेंट रिमेम्बर ल्यू खॉवर्ड नेम he uh, did the cloud classification somewhere it is written darwin also did cloud classification so look for both the option whichever is given you take it so in question number 8 you see most frequently occurring non structuring non structuring carbohydrate in plant you have to tell which is which of the following is most frequently occurring non structuring carbohydrate in plant option a sucrose option b fructose so student the correct answer is sucrose sucrose is the most frequently occurring non structural carbohydrate in plant followed by fructose fructose is second but if you uh, are asked which is the most frequently occurring non structural carbohydrate in plant it is sucrose student question number 9 you see period in days during a year when precipitation exceed half of pt plus period required to evaporate 100 mm of water from precipitation is stored in soil profile so student this is a long definition please to remember it it is asking what is this term known as it is a period in days during a year when precipitation exceed half of pet plus period required to evaporate transpire 100 mm of water from precipitation is stored in soil profile student option c option number d it is gdd gdd is growing degree day growing degree day concept is average temperature minus base temperature base temperature for kharif crop for most of the kharif crop like paddy and uh, maize it is 10 degree centigrade and for about for wheat it is about 4.5 degree centigrade so this growing degree day concept was given by shex please student remember it average temperature minus base temperature for a crop so the correct answer to this uh, ninth question student is lgp lgp is actually the period in days during a year when precipitation exceed half of pt plus it is the period required to evaporate transpire 100 mm of water from precipitation stored in soil profile student question number 10 you see which of the following is c3 plant option a lily option b amaranthus option c uh, sugar beet option d napier grass so student you eliminate napier grasses C4 amaranthus is C4 lily is cam and the only option remaining is sugar beet so sugar beet is your C3 plant so student that's all for today i hope this video will be helpful to you if it is helpful please share it with your fellow batchmates and other juniors and uh, in case you find any complaint or any suggestion you want to give please message me or uh, and the last please calculate your score also thank you